we're back with another couple who one person does this, one person does that. You would assume they come together and they both then do that one thing, but no, that's not how these relationships work, apparently. The title is interesting of this video, Husband Controls My Life. You know. This is Monica. Hello, Monica. She fell Hello. in love with John. You're hot, you play the guitar. I have a thing for musicians. Does he actually play guitar, is the question. While the pair may look like your average couple, from the outside. Right, sorry, but why is his shirt ripped there? I get you're a big guy. <laughs> we couldn't edit that out, no? We had, I think the producers are playing a prank here. They saw the hole in his shirt and said, this macho man thinks he's gonna get away without us sort of slandering him somehow. Boom. Outside, the way their relationship functions has shocked many. Okay, I also hate the fact that on these shows, when couples kiss each other or something, and then they look at the camera. Didn't ask. Why, Monica? Why are you looking at me right now? Look at John. I actually had like childhood friends straight out telling me that I've lost my dignity as a woman. Did you like choose this? Or did it just happen? <laughs> Why is it that John can sleep with other women? Interesting. Can we cut? Uh, can we cut? What does that mean? Love don't judge? I think I'm going to judge in this case. Uh, if you remember Mitch and Alex, wherever it is on the screen right now, if I remember to add it, they also had a similar thing where Alex was sleeping around, essentially, despite having a husband. The husband, Mitch, just didn't. So that's not an open relationship, right? Well, I don't know what's going on there. It's open on one side. If you, if you liken it to driving, right? And there's the one-way roads and you get angry at someone who is disobeying the one-way road and they're coming from the other side. Are roads better than us? Are roads better than us? Arizona, so... USA. Here's a little dress. Mm, okay. And um, here's another dress that's okay. shorter. That mm -hmm. looks like a shirt. And okay. then I have this. Yeah, let's go so green today. I think the green today? That's going to be the one. So we're going green today. Yay. <laughs> okay, first of all, unless I'm colorblind, that's not green. That's like a gray, blue, charcoal thing. I don't like where this is going. Now, if she has asked him, hey, let's pick something out, then that's cool. I mean, if I have a partner and she asks me, hey, what should I wear? Pick one. I find that kind of sexy, right? Let's get adult here, right? There's going to be a lot of adult type talk, but yeah, I, I'd find that kind of sexy. But if this is the case where this man genuinely, you know, picks out everything, it's bordering weirdness. So, I like my husband to pick up my, my clothes okay. because right. Fair I like pleasing him, so I like to look hot okay. for him. I feel okay. a lot more confident when he picks up my clothes because then I know that I'm actually wearing what he likes. Um, hey okay. everyone, my name is Monica and- I also hope that you feel confident within yourself if he hasn't picked out a particular outfit because then we, we delve into the, the, the realms of self-esteem issues and the fact that you wouldn't feel good wearing something of your own choosing. I, I hope that's I not the case. I love to please my husband, John. Okay, I mean... We have a traditional marriage. Do you smile? I'm the man and I make the rules around the house. Okay. <laughs> Let's stop right there, look at Monica's face. Now, I'm not going to infer that she's unhappy like I did with Mitch because some people didn't agree with that, but that's neither here nor there. I'm here, not there. That made more sense in my head. But I don't, if you guys have been watching me for any length of time, you would know I don't really agree with the traditional marriage in the sense that if the woman wants a career and she wants to achieve things outside of the marriage, 
The man says, no, sit there and do nothing but make me happy. Abs disgusting. You are a pig if that's the way you think. But in this case, if Monica says that she likes sitting back, letting John take care of everything and she is happy genuinely, emphasis on the word genuinely, I'm all for it. Me, myself, if me and my wife, who is not here right now, but, you know, if she, and I'm in a financial position to do so, if she wants to just be at home, to be honest, I would let her. Like, not let her, because then that implies I've got some sort of control. I don't. Remember, just because you get married, it doesn't mean you own the person, okay? But in this, when I say let her, I in terms of I wouldn't care. Like if you want to just sit at not sit at home and you know become just like a couch potato, right? But if you want to just stay at home and you don't want to work, and then I'm financially capable of catering for both of us. To be honest, my lip feels hella dry. To be honest, but to be honest, I would I would say cool to my wife, just like. I think, to be honest, I would say, no, just relax. Like, I believe in the sense that, you know, I I take care of her. But also, you know, naturally, if you're with someone you love, they are also going to take care of you. It's both ways, right? So, so far, maybe I'm not getting bad vibes. But obviously the whole sex with other women part hasn't come into fruition yet but we've been together what six years now six years yeah i've always had a submissive side um okay. since i can remember he doesn't and smile I've, and i've always been drawn to assertive and dominant males right drop that anybody who's been with a woman knows they don't know what the heck to wear right what does that i like mean? monica to dress feminine but nice that's it, that's that's the end of the sentence because it seemed like you had more to say there. I like her to dress feminine and nice. What does feminine mean? Just like dresses 24-7. If that's the case, get a grip of yourself here. Um, yeah, he gives me bad vibes. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to lie to you. It's, it's, it's the demeanor he's given off here that because he's physically endowed, right? I'm not sure where he's packing downstairs, but in terms of muscular... It doesn't give you the right to not smile. I mean, being a traditional housewife because um, that's my love language. I love to Is that make love language? people I, I so. love feel good. It's not like I'm a hopeless little girl. It's not about that. It's just he's assertive and I like that in a man. Okay, look, see, that that's my point, right? If she genuinely wants that for herself to be the housewife, Go for it, do you know what I mean? But this man is not, he's not giving me the vibe that, that we're drawing the line at her, you know, just being a housewife, right? And we've obviously got the sex part again. But I feel like he's a bit too controlling, maybe, off camera. Oh, you're welcome. Okay, that's just cringe, man. For myself, I have certain rules where, you know, keep him happy. So my mom, she taught me how to cook, how to clean, how to be a good wife, how to okay. please my man. And uh, she also told me be in good shape and look pretty because nobody wants a fat and ugly wife. Okay. Uh, oh, you laughed at that, didn't you? Yeah. Yeah, pig. That's, are you telling me, Monica, now if someone is on the bigger side, they are now automatically ugly? What does that mean here? Fat and ugly. What? Are we, are we children? Huh? He clearly is. <laughs> I don't like this man. I don't care. I've made my mind up already. I don't like this man. Monica, I'm like on the edge, right? She hasn't helped herself by saying fat and ugly. Get a grip of yourself. Oh, you find that funny, yeah? What are you hey, doing babe. here? Hey, babe. Uh, what you want for breakfast today? Uh, would you mind making some pancakes? Please? Yeah, sure. Uh, want some whipped cream with the pancakes? Hell yeah. yeah. Let's make some bacon too. Please? Awesome. Okay, Thank you. Cool. Love you. Oh, I said Love thank you. you at least.
I, I try to make him happy the whole day, you know, throughout the day, and he does the same for me. So, yeah, I would say 98% of my day evolves around <laughs> my husband, my which I love. Uh, I took care of everything that has to do with uh, finances, making sure the bills are paid on time. It feels pretty natural to make most of the decisions. I'm more of a bulls by the horn kind of guy, whereas Monica doesn't like conflict and stuff like that. Why is it that John can sleep with other women? Yeah, let's get this answer, isn't it? No answer. Can we cut? Yeah. yeah. This is where I'm going to draw the line, and this is where now we have an issue, right? And I don't care you in the comments right now, if you're typing, I don't see an issue, why don't you see an issue? Because she's openly said that she's okay with being the housewife, but she hasn't, unless I've missed it, of course, and with the size of my ears, you'd think I'd hear everything, but I'm not a bat. <clears throat> I wouldn't want Ozzy Osbourne to bite my head off. She hasn't mentioned the fact that she's happy with him sleeping with other women. So, tell me, where... Is it okay then? Again, open relationships. I said it before in the Mitch and Alex video. If it's open on both sides, both ways, I don't care. All right? You do you. Me personally, I wouldn't want to be in an open relationship. But if, if it's what you want and you both are doing it, great. But if one person is in an open relationship and the other person is not, why not just be single? So what the, the hell sleeping happened with there? other women thing, um, first of all, it's, it's a really small part of our relationship. Monica was cool with it, and I was cool with it, and, and I think it's a... <laughs> Unless you're talking about your physical aubergine, and it's not that big, and it's the small part of the relationship, then ha <laughs> ha, your muscles... I'm projecting my own insecurities right now. But how can having sex with other women whilst being married just be a small part of the relationship. I'm spitting all over the place, but my mouth can't comprehend what's going on. It's dirty, so it's like, you know, saliva to clean it. It doesn't make sense. How can it be a small part? Sure, I have that probably most guys watching this wish they had just- No, shut the hell up. I know you said most guys, so probably I'm not part of the most guys. And if John was watching this, he probably would look at me and say I'm not a guy anyway. Who remembers the comments back in the day when I used to get people saying that because of my long hair, I'm a girl. <laughs> I don't believe that. I believe sex, if you're going to have sex with someone, you have to care about them genuinely. Uh, I'm not someone who would ever go around just sleeping with people. Uh, of course, again... It's fun, right? Let's, you know, people say it's fun uh, being sexually free like that and stuff. I personally wouldn't. I, I'm not bothered, right? I get exhausted messaging people, right? So for me to now be sexually free, you know, it probably would put me in better shape. <laughs> so maybe I give it a go. No, but seriously, I wouldn't want what he has. So... That's like genetic programming. If you look at all other mammals, how they do it, typically the alpha male gets to bang all the females. Uh all right, first of all, <laughs> Mr. Macho Manly Hulk giraffe hybrid here genuinely thinks that him having, what are these called? Construction tractors things is manly. Good on you, man. This is a joke, by the way, because I literally have pop figures up my ass here, but I just find it funny. And he has a Batmobile. It's just funny, you know? But what is with these people? And in, in this instance, it's always the men that compare themselves to animals. You are an animal, aren't you? They compare themselves. They think they're some sort of gorilla, right? Look, ugh, I'm the silverback. All the all the women gorillas, they, I was going to say female gorillas, but if you've realized, I don't like this, to say the word female, male, I don't know. I, I prefer to say women and men. Female just is a bit degrading, in my opinion, so I try not to say it because I don't like it. But you're not a gorilla, right? I said before in the Alex one again, penguins have one partner. 
are we, uh, you know, penguins are better than us? Yes. But also his language there to say that, you know, the alpha animal bangs all the women. Bangs? Are you a child here? Huh? You laughed at Monica saying fat and ugly. Now, now you think banging is apparently the good word to use as a synonym for having sex. You're a child. I don't like you. I, th I think it just makes for a much more relaxed relationship because there's nothing in my life that I desire that I can't have. I don't know what kind of BS villain speech you're trying to give here. There is nothing in this life that I cannot have. What do you mean here? Uh, so you're married, but you still think of yourself as some sort of playboy and that I can get any woman? What are you on about here? And also, if it if it's makes the relationship easier, why don't you let your wife do the same thing then? Hmm? Why why are you drawing the line? It would be so much easier then if both of you do it. But no, you like the power play, isn't it? The controlling aspect. You can't fool me. This isn't good. I feel like as a female, I have a different view on sex than a what? male does. So for a guy, it's just a fun thing. I know in my heart that he loves me, he comes home to me, he takes really good care of me. I'm sorry, I'm gonna pause it there because one, you've said females and granted she's a woman, so she can read, she can say females if she wants, right? But I still, I find it disgusting. I do find the word females degrading. I'm not gonna lie to you. If you see these red pill content creators, right? The Tates, for example, the way they speak about women persistently saying females, females, but then when they talk about themselves, they say man. I just, I don't like it. In before some sort of roided up red pill cocksucker is in the comments telling me that I'm a simp. Good on you then, I'm a simp. But I don't agree with her. I, again, I, I mean, I mentioned it earlier. I believe if I'm going to have sex with someone, I love you, right? It, there needs to be care involved. Of course, it's fun, right? Don't get me wrong. I assume, right, that people who are sexually free, they just have a lot of fun. But then by also calling it sexually free, it implies that if you have sex with one person, you are not sexually free. So forget I even said that. Because when you are in a relationship, you can just try so many different things, right? I think it would be pretty weird if you have like some next level kink and you just meet someone in a bar or something and you just want to have a one night fling and you whip it out. Goodness, I don't know what you're whipping out, but you whip out some sort of kink and they say, what the shit? I don't know. Does that make sense? I feel like you can be a lot more free with one person. I don't know what I'm saying, to be honest. I don't know where my point is with this. Ah, the point is, I don't believe it's uh, in the... I can't speak for every man, can I? Do you know what I mean? A lot of men would actually say that it is more fun to sleep around. So basically, I'm not part of that. I don't think that way. So. I can totally get that some people might think that there's an imbalance in power in our relationship. Yeah, there is. I actually had like childhood friends straight out telling me that I've lost my dignity as a woman right, that's... and I also shouldn't have children okay. because I would well, be a horrible mom. Be okay, let's draw some sort of line in the sand here, everyone, all right? I don't think her being submissive and also allowing him to sleep with other women would make her a bad mother. That's very different. But in the case that if the kids looked at this dynamic of their relationship and think that it's normal, then of course you can say that's not really a good example. But for the most part, I would never say to someone, you know, don't have kids. You would be a terrible blah, blah, blah. Unless of course they are, a, you know, serial killer or something. Of course, in this instance, I don't think she would be a bad mother, but we do what relax we do. yourselves goodness. and then i've i've actually had people saying oh my god i love the openness i, I, I don't really have anything to say it's to open on one side is the controller even on 
I don't care about them at all. Okay, good for you. So I'm just getting um, the house yeah. ready for my friends. They're coming over. I always tidy up at home and keep the house nice and clean so John is happy and content with the right. house. Yeah, look, at. I mean, as he's walked in, great editing on their part. What is, I don't, see, I don't like that. That rubs me the wrong way. If the house is not clean, he's not happy. I mean, I just, I don't agree with it, right? Also, I will say this. If we are going based on the fact that it's a traditional relationship, right? I don't think that back in the day when people used traditional more commonly, I don't think the man and the woman who got married would then sleep with other people. So where's the traditional aspect in that? I, I think you've taken the traditional aspect, but John here has branched off into something else. Again, exerting his power, exerting the fact that she's submissive to him as a means of, I'm going to go and do my own thing. You can't say anything. It's the TVA. We've branched off. Anyone watch the low-key series? Not sponsored. Hashtag. Marvel, though, if you do want to sponsor me, sponsor me. But yeah, you can't say he's traditional, but then you're doing things that are outside of the traditional sense, and it's only you doing it. Do you see where my problem is? All right, babe. You're going to go to the gym. Right, that's All just right. not Hope natural. Go Look, your friends. I'll see you okay. I'll see you Nothing later. about that was natural. Victoria and Audrey. <laughs> Why are you so surprised? You knew they were coming. I'm telling you right now, right off the bat, Audrey's vibe is of a princess, right? If you've ever watched something like Game of Thrones or any sort of, what's that show with the queens and stuff? Is it Bridgerton? I don't know, something like that. That's the vibe she's, she's giving me. Elegance. What is... Her dress is... The birds. What's going on with your marriage? Well, you know, the whole <laughs> traditional housewife kind of thing. Yeah, it's and, it's just know, not, though, is it? Kind of being with other people as well. So, you is know, that part of the traditional? Thank you, no, she agrees with me. That part? But, you know, me being a housewife, we never really talked about it, though. So you kind of never knew how our marriage is working. Right. As she sips the wine, is Audrey going to say anything? She's just here for decoration. I'm I'm confused here. She's she's part of the background with the flowers. Is she gonna speak? I do again want to reiterate. She's mentioned several times that she's happy with being a housewife, but she's not mentioned that she's happy with him sleeping with other women. So do you see again the point I'm trying to make here? That it's not this this isn't fair on her, is it? Cooking, cleaning, whatever. I, I know don't think John's she great drank anything. and all, but like, what what does he do? Uh, he takes out the trash, fixes oh. with the car, you know, manly thing. Yes, the manly things of taking out the bins. Never have I taken out the bins. Trash, right? <laughs> because then I take myself out. I've called myself trash. I don't know why I've done that. Am I? Am I trash? The tangents I go on are insane. Look at Audrey. She, she's just there, just smiling. <laughs> taking out the trash is not manly. Uh, sorry, but I've never taken out the bins and a woman has walked past somehow stalking me. Why are you walking past as I'm taking out the bins? Because I'm wearing pink Crocs and some shorts. And she's never gone, oh my, look at this. A man's taking out the bins. Uh, this is just so manly. Get a grip of yourself, Monica. And I do all the womanly things. Does what that ever that? make you mad? Like the womanly things? As in what exactly here? Cleaning, cooking, is that what you're talking about? Because that's what you mentioned several times. Are they the womanly things? Huh? So when I cook myself food, I'm a woman! Ah! ah. No! I feel like it's not fair. So I'm, I'm totally fine with being, I love being a housewife. Yeah, don't what you about the sex like part? Don't you way too much time doing some cooking and cleaning? <laughs> Sorry, but I've pulled off hair again. But has Audrey just said cocaine? 
The only time she's chimed up is, and she's mentioned cocaine. I'm going to rewind because once again, these massive Dumbo ears have failed me, I'm assuming. Cocaine? Police! Police! Help! Too much time doing to cocaine and planning oh. while you could just outsource it and follow your own passions. Well, I don't know what that means, right? But she said cooking, not cocaine. What do you mean outsourcing cooking and cleaning? Do you mean like a maid? And then Monica can then go and pursue stuff outside of the relationship. I'm assuming that's what she meant. But then, actually, I was going to say, if you do want to pursue a passion and you do have the financial capabilities to hire a maid, probably I w you would do so. But that doesn't mean she can't pursue passions just because she cooks and cleans. Again, this is where John has to step in and pick up some of the slack, right? Not the not the messaging app, but slack. If you want to sponsor me, sponsor me. No, but seriously, John, do you do anything other than sit and edit things? I was going to say it sounds like me, but it doesn't. No, I think it's my passion to take care of my husband. No, but Would he cook you dinner if you were sick? Or yeah. pregnant? I mean, if I was sick, yeah. But it would probably just work. <laughs> Did you like... Uh, that's not a man, by the way. If you do not take care of your wife when she is actually in need of you, you are a scumbag. I'm not going to lie to you. I'm sorry. Vroom. Vroom, vroom, vroom. The sound of inside John's brain. If your partner is sick, I'm urging you to actually take care of them if, if you are of the notion that you are in a traditional marriage or traditional relationship, right? Please, men of this world, don't think you are above cooking, cleaning, taking care of someone, taking care of your wife when she's ill or pregnant. Get a grip of yourself. Choose this? Or did it just happen? It just happened. I, oh. I, I like, I didn't choose this. This is what I like to do. Hey! <laughs> so Monica tells us that you have a traditional relationship. Yeah, okay, I heard that bit, but just barely. Why have we decided to crank the volume of the music up so high? I can't hear shit. I hate when any YouTube video does this. Right? You I just stop it. I can't hear, bro. That's true. I didn't realize that all the time she had to scurry away to make the dinner is like enforced. <laughs> hey, I'm a growing boy. I'm doing <laughs> <laughs> I'm a growing boy. I need to eat. Hence why I will not cook food for myself, only Monica. Does that make sense? What if you're hungry and she's not home? Do you just not you starve? You die. Is that you're a Virgo, aren't you? Anyways, anyways that's my cue. <laughs> what does that mean, guys? Virgo? Sure. What star signs oh got God. to do with anything? <laughs> well, I guess that tied it up. That 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 explained it, and that's all we need to know. John's yeah. Virgo. When I what? first found out about John look, and Mon- Look at Aubrey! She's exuding elegance, bro. I'm telling you, the way she like carry like do you know what i mean just the dress she's turned up here as if she's turned up for a wedding i just his relationship i guess you could say i was a little bit thrown off because i feel like they come off as being pretty equal where but then when she just said that she was a traditional housewife i i guess i just don't really know what that means yeah i was a little surprised because it just doesn't seem her like, like her she's such a strong-minded woman but she'll definitely make little funny comments like oh my husband's gotta eat and i didn't think she was actually serious look at the way she like span around i like... can see how people that don't know us mm. um might think oh that's not healthy or that's it's like not. that's bad but i think if you're a good person and you're with somebody that you really, really love and you're, you're soulmates. It's oh, yeah. Go sleep with other people. Yes, that's... Yeah. Whole different 
thing. I love my marriage and I love him and I don't feel like there's anything stopping us from, from living like this always. Monica, I mean... Yes, look at me again. Great. Oh, it's turned white. Am I ascending to the heavens? Have I died? That's a question to ask myself. Not you, because how could you answer that? And now it's turned pitch black. I well and truly could be dead, right? I ascended to heaven. It's pitch black now, which means I've been <laughs> sent to hell. I've died. The more concerning part about all of that is how did this get online, this video? Who edited it? Who uploaded it? Be concerned about that because someone that means broke in for the sole reason to upload this video. Cue the police meme. Police! Help! Police! Help! What did we gain from this? Not what did we, what did we take from this? The main take point, right? I want to reiterate, I, well, reiterate, I don't think I said it in this episode, but I want to make perfectly clear that John, I don't want to say he has Monica. In terms of power play, you could say he has her, but in, in let's say I was with someone, right? Monica is a very attractive woman, right? For the life of me, I cannot understand being with someone and then sleeping with other people. Anyone in the comments who is in an open relationship, and it goes both ways, by the way, please, if you are not someone who gets easily offended and you actually are open-minded to the fact that other people are going to have different opinions, drop it in the comments. Why do you like open relationships? What is the, the benefits of it? Because... If I was with someone, obviously, looks like Monica, right? I'm sorry. I don't know if it makes me sound bad, but I wouldn't sleep with other women, right? I don't know if that's controversial or not, but she's an attractive woman. I just, I don't know. I don't, what, did, what do you gain? He didn't mention, like, what he gains from that. So I turn it to the people in the comments. What do you gain? Uh, I'm interested to read about your stance on things because then, you know, I, po I proposed the question, why wouldn't you just be single? But anyway, someone will let me know, maybe. Um, Monica, again, seems happy to be a housewife, but again, never mentioned that she's happy that he sleeps with other women. So I'm reluctant to believe that she's truly happy. I hope, I really hope at some point she, I don't want to say gains the self-worth because I feel like she's confident within herself. Maybe? It's complicated. Let me know your thoughts. I'll see you guys next time. Much love. Peace. And as always, I say as always, there's a don't love judge. Oh, it's, it's there. There's a woman loving a chandelier in there. There's all sorts. Bye.